I think what She's Got the Look is going to do is empower women to realize that there's beautiful women out there over 35 that we can look better in our 30s, 40s, and 50s than we did when we were younger. We feel better about ourselves. And if we have that whole big package going for us, I don't think we're going to be as intimidated with these young girls that may have a whole outside package but might be a little bit empty inside. I hope this show really gives women a standard. Welcome to New York. I'm Kim Alexis. These women, they have histories. They've come from other places. They've either set aside what their dreams and ambitions were to get married, or they, they got pregnant and decided to have a family. Shelly, how old are you? 43. Can you please explain why you believe that you have the look? I was told when I was 17 or 18 that I would be one of the next supermodels. And, sorry, I didn't know I was going to do this. Um, I gave it all up. Why did you give it up? Because I was in love with my high school sweetheart. Because we're dealing with a woman who's more mature and just has a history and has a confidence about her already, that we come talking to these women and suggesting things in a more elegant manner. Um, it's not so much ripping apart and saying, you know, honey, what are you thinking? It's more of a supportive, um, uplifting role. I'll start. You scared the <laughs> out of me. I just want to tell you honestly. You look like you just got off the set of Purple Rain. If you ever bounce down the runway in a Valentino like that, he would personally come out and choke you. He had the same expression, yeah, that true. smirk. That smirk. If you came out there one more time with that smirk. That really, really shocked me. I was like, boy, you know, she just let it rip. She really did let it rip. But you can let it rip in a nice way when you come from a place of authority because she's already been there. And she's trying to really teach these girls. Her, her heart was to really help these girls. You look like Halle Berry. Who wins the show is a maverick because it hasn't really been done before where someone's been able to start at the age of over 35 in this business. But there's a market for it. There's a need for it. And these women have kept themselves in very good shape. And they look really good. And there's no reason why they can't work. I have a little bit more experience than the other girls. I used to live in Europe, and I did runway. So I worked with a lot of the top girls. I think Karen is the sweetest girl in the world, but Karen's walk is flat out scary. <laughs> These women all stayed together in a loft. But there was some tension in the room. There is a competition going on. Oh, the pink team wins? Why? Now, who likes a sore loser? I don't. What was hard for me was um, making sure, because it was a dare to bear, really. Dared to bear it all during their elimination challenge. Oh, they just wore organza. And so I wanted to make sure that nothing was exposed, and it wasn't. I stayed on set with those girls for like five, six hours, making sure that they were protected and taken care of and knew that someone was watching their back and front. Ultimately, two finalists didn't make it on the board. Kathy, Sharon, I'm sorry. There's this nurturing and there's this support that these women have for each other. I know how brave she is and what an amazing spirit she is. And you could see him sort of battling, gosh, I'm in competition with her, but my, my other nature really wants to comfort her and help her out. And I found that there was much more of that team effort than, than everyone being separate and, ooh, I'm coming out to get you and, you know, my, my number one job is to knock you out. That wasn't the way this show felt. It was really, they, they became a family. Hey, hey, hey.